Now we're going to look at another common scenario. I'll open a file that's saved with a profile for my scanner and see where this leads us. As this file opens, a warning pops up informing me of a profile mismatch. It's telling me that the file has a scanner profile attached to it, the FlexTight scanner in this case, and it's giving me some choices to make before it opens up in Photoshop. There are really only two reasonable choices to make here. If you're sure that the image will not be color corrected any further and will perhaps only be cropped, resized, and converted to, say, the CMYK mode, then there's no reason to convert to a different color space like Adobe RGB or Color Match, etc. Simply choose the first option, Use Embedded Profile, click OK, and off you go. On the other hand, if this image will need extensive color corrections, go ahead and convert it to the document's color space, which is so conveniently listed for you over here, and click OK. And you'll see that this step was performed for you at the outset, and now you're in a color space that's best for color correcting your image. In the last scenario, let's see what choices to make when you open a file in Photoshop that's simply missing a profile. This time, the warning refers to a missing profile and gives you about three choices. The first one really isn't a good option, in my opinion. If you leave this file as is, that is, without any embedded profile, then Photoshop or any application that handles this file downstream has no way to show the colors in the file accurately. It does use the default working space for the mode as a reference for display purposes on screen and for internal calculations, but subsequently the color appearance can change when it's handed off to another application or for printing, because then there's no fixed meaning to the colors in the file. So what are the reasonable choices in this case? If you happen to know what profile was used when creating this file, you can assign it in the last option. But this is still a little bit risky because you might not know for sure, and then you'll risk introducing another nuance to this process. My general recommendation in 90% of cases where you're dealing with an untagged file like this is to assign the working space for the color mode and proceed. Now this might result in having the color appearance change slightly on screen while the numerical values are kept intact. But now these colors are officially represented by this new color space that's a safe bet for performing color corrections and more. So in this movie, we saw how to handle files with three different flavors or scenarios involving profiles. Later on in this tutorial, in the section titled Preparing for Output, you'll see how to interact with profiles when printing.